All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome to the Survivor Buffs on our series of interviews of the amazing Survivor 41 cast. Really excited for this one today because we have the great, the powerful, the goat, <laughs> Nasir. It's so good to have you and our first jury uh, uh, jury person we've interviewed. So, yeah, this is a monument for me and Adam. So thank you so much for coming on. Thank you, but I think I was the second jury member. Yeah, I'm saying you're the first person we've interviewed that oh, was on yeah, the jury. Yeah, was, yes, I'm sorry. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, hey, thank you so much. Thank you so much for uh, <clears throat> sending me the request to make to be on your show, uh, on your show, on your, you know, appreciate it. I'm oh, yeah. happy. Of course. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, clearly I'm the odd man out. I did not get the memo that we were wearing, uh, survivor sweaters. I missed out on the, uh, announcement. I'm rocking, uh, Mickey Mouse golfing, or is that Minnie Mouse? I actually can't tell. That's Mickey. That's Minnie. Mickey. That's Mickey. That's Mickey. Mickey. Half Minnie. Oh yeah, it's Mickey. Is, is it Mickey? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Mickey, I think. Okay. I don't see the bow. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> well, yes, it's getting said. It's very uh, exciting to, Talk to you here, Nasir. You were definitely one of the contestants that we were looking the most forward to talk to just because uh, for a couple of reasons. But I think the main one is I feel like uh, you brought a new energy to the show. I feel like there's not many past Survivor contestants. Before season 41, there was 590 players, and I really can't think of any that I would like uh, compare you to. So it was cool. You feel like you brought a new – like. Um, personality a new energy to uh the show so thanks for doing that <laughs> that is nasir right <laughs> yeah <laughs> absolutely did yeah. you have fun was the whole was the whole journey the whole experience i guess it's never over but uh it's yeah. been uh fun so far definitely it, it, it i mean say every single minute out there was fun and something new every time even though if you see a coconut tree or a some other tree something new right it's we are in fiji so well, definitely I enjoyed it. Thank you so much for mentioning uh, one of the, uh, you, you can compare me with any other Survivor players that who played. And uh, I would definitely agree with that. That's why I want to be who I am. And mm -hmm. I want to play the game the way I want. And uh, I think I did deliver that. And uh, it's out there, right? Yes, I did enjoy it. <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah you were you were definitely unapologetically nasir and that was that was great to see i mean you're definitely already one of the top contenders that everybody on social media is like we we want more we need to see more so you know that hope yeah. hope to see you again mm -hmm. i hope so well, well i hope so too right so but i want to say thank you to all the fans out there really really appreciate it so even though i did not win my million dollars right but I was able to win more than million dollars hearts, right? Million millions of hearts. So it's right. all fans out there. Thank you so much. <laughs> we um, I was trying to pull this up. We uh, so before the season. So me and Gideon were doing uh, live uh, recaps of each of the episodes. And one thing we did as we went on was before the season started, we drafted two teams as if it was like uh, a fantasy draft and. We snaked back and forth, so we would each uh, we do two men, two women, um, and the point was that we tried to have the winner on uh, on our team. So um, I was trying to pull it up here because I was trying I to think. Lost. I, I believe Gideon lost. I was the one that I, picked Erica. Yeah, pretty bad. Um, well, I think did she you was did you, you were rooting for me, Gideon? <laughs> Did I? I, did, did, I think you were on my yeah. team. Yeah, I think you were on it. Even though I wanted you, but okay. he got you first. Let me see. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Of course. Of course. <laughs> I'm trying to pull it up here. Give me one sec. Yes, you were definitely on my team. I believe you were the third male picked Good. in our draft. Very um, nice. Who? Who were the two? Well, Danny and Voce, maybe. I had Voce. I go. think Voce was my first pick. <laughs> he had Ricard. Ricard. Deshaun was the first, and then Ricard was the second, and then, uh, yeah, and then you would have been the third. But yeah, uh, so the X X we 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 X people out as they got eliminated. So Erica was a pretty late pick. So I got pretty lucky. Um, yeah, I just 
I didn't I didn't think I, I was glad I picked Erica because I, uh, I think a lot of people preseason had her as a winner pick. But I think the problem was she you really couldn't compare her to any other winner. She kind of played a game that I don't really think you can compare it to many winners. So uh, as opposed to like Ricard, I feel like, while he's very original. I feel like um, there are a lot of people be like, oh, he reminds me of this person. Whereas Erica was so new. And maybe it's just because she's Canadian. But um, definitely <laughs> was cool seeing uh, uh, Erica win. Very proud of her. How do you, uh, I was going to ask you too, like, uh, how do you view Erica's win? You obviously were on the jury. You voted for her. Like, looking back now at the season, like, um, like how do you sum up her, her victory? Well, uh, Erica, as you mentioned, there are men, not many winners played the way Erica played, right? So Erica, because mm -hmm. everyone, all 18 of us, uh, all 18 players had their own uh, strength, in strength and weaknesses. And of course, we had our own way of playing the game, right? So that's why they brought all 18 different national, not national personalities in there. So mm -hmm. Erica, kind of, she stayed lay low. Uh, uh, Played, the, played under the radar game, but at the same time, she knows her moves. And when the time came, you know, uh, break the hourglass, and that is her start point. And also, if you really think about uh, Erica, like I think not a single time was uh, her name written down on on any tribal concert. So that that's a good achievement. And uh, yeah, she played it. I really respect her gameplay. And uh, she's very well deserved to win that if i because i'm not there so if i'm there i'm winning it's guaranteed right oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so definitely well matter of fact there are many other players that who played in on season 41 yes i would say all 18 of us should win the game right that's mm -hmm. a whole thing that we were there but erica i respect her gameplay she played uh played good yeah yeah, it's interesting you bring up if you were at the end, you would win because I think everybody absolutely thought that. And I know when me and Adam were recapping, we were saying you were probably that you were definitely the biggest jury threat because you were everybody liked you and you had a great story. So because you were the biggest jury threat, were, were you aware that everybody thought that? Well, I was uh, like first two episodes, like, they don't know me well, I would say, because we've been right. keep winning. So when I was able to win a challenge all by myself, I would say, when oh they, my gosh. Yeah. Danny, uh, Deshaun tried to throw a challenge and become like, you know, that is very close to get into the merge. And uh, they know that if we let him, uh, after the merge, is going to win all the <clears throat> like uh, individual immunity challenges. So, and of course, they know that I'm friendly. I was the biggest provider out there. And uh, yeah, and I, they know that I, I I've always acted like I have everything in the, on that island. So <laughs> even though I found an idol, but uh, you know, I just acted like so. The, I created a vibe like, yes, I'm happy. Even though some days I was on the chopping block, but I did not show them that. You know, it's dangerous to show them that we're on the chopping block. So, but I acted on the other side like, yeah, I'm the happiest kid out there. So, mm -hmm. and uh, they know almost everybody. Uh, they know that. There is no way they can win if I'm sitting on the final three. Not in a final three. Even if I got <laughs> on the final four, that was my plan. Because yeah. nobody could go uh, make him fire against me, my friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So they did a great move. And uh, I think that was a, a when I was blindsided. Uh, was a great move for Ricard, definitely. And at the same time, that wasn't a very smart move for that night. Because then Shan followed me. Because I was a very loyal uh, numbers for them so yeah. yeah so i know it i know it the whole day uh, on that day uh even uh, the reason even i did not play my idol because i want to stay one more one more day you right. know so one more day then you know i will find a hole to fill in and move on but hey it is survivor right you're on survivor anything can happen at any time yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. We have a question from Sam. He wants to know, uh, do you think English not being your first language was more an advantage or a disadvantage in the game? Well, uh, I would say both. Sometimes because I try to, uh, you know, the way they explain things, uh, it's different than the way I explain, right? Like it could be for some people when I'm trying to say something, maybe they may 
think since I have a bad accent, uh, or maybe he's trying to say something. The way you phrase his things are different than normal mm -hmm. the, the native English speakers, right? So, but also that was for me, that was, a, I would say, my disadvantage. But at the same time, the advantage is like, I can be like, yeah, you know what? It's, it's, a, it's a guy cannot speak English and we can, they may think like we can use him uh, to for the just for the numbers. And uh, I'm like, I don't care, to be honest with you. English is my fourth language, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm proud of uh, even I, how many people do really speak at least two languages in, in America, right? Or in Canada. Right. Not a lot. <laughs> So my, my language, I'm proud of it. And I'm really proud because I learned English. I really started learning English watching Survivor. So I have even better story. Right. <laughs> English, yeah. right? So there we go. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, English, English is like, they say it's like one of the most difficult languages to learn if it's not your first. So, I mean, props. There we go. Thank you. Um. I know. So it was your uh, girlfriend, now wife, who introduced you to the show. Is that right? Yes. What do you remember? Like the first season? What did you start with Borneo, or what was like the first season? Oh, uh, the uh, survival season, uh, the Nicaragua season oh, twenty-one. Really interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So, twenty-one. That was it, because my wife and I. Because when I met her, I hardly spoke English, right? So then. Mm. Uh, we kind of communicate, we were communicating in Arabic, but we're trying to watch an English movie or anything that I don't understand. I can see what's going on, but I don't know. I have no clue what's going on, right? Mm -hmm. Then, but then she loves Survivor. Uh, then she like, okay, you know what? This show could be uh, uh, good to watch together. Then when she put the show, I'm like, whoa, that's like me. <laughs> that's me, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, and then you know we start watching, and and uh, that's why Survivor played a huge role in my life, and still. Yeah. yeah, Nicaragua. So Fabio is your favorite winner, right? Because Nicaragua. Mm, I so I rooted for him, <laughs> but not really. I'm being honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> have Have you since uh, Have you since gone back and watched all the seasons? Yes. Then I went back and watched every single season multiple yes. times. Fabio, well, see. I, 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 again, I love his gameplay. I hope Fabio is watching this. Fabio, I'm sorry, my friend. Because <laughs> everybody, come on, Adam and uh, Gideon, you, you, you all have your favorites to, uh, you were rooting for someone, right? On, on every season. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, like that. But I'm very happy for him. He's a great player. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now, now having watched all the seasons, do you have one that you would, that you would consider your favorite? And also, what's your uh, wife's favorite season? Oh. My wife's always talk about all stars, and uh, of nice. course, season forty was. Uh, but her favorite season is season forty-one. Oh so, yeah, nice. of course, right. <laughs> and uh, mine is of course season forty-one because I was on that, and uh, <laughs> of course, <laughs> never so. Uh, oh, uh, uh, like season forty it took me almost oh, took CBS to put me on this uh, on the show took almost 21 years well i wasn't even in america right when survival started so mm -hmm. yeah uh season 41 but apart from that uh season 40 i really enjoyed it and also mm -hmm. uh Kagayan, uh survivor philippine was great all stars and uh, and everything except i would say except season five survivor thailand <laughs> yeah, yeah we agree we agree uh yeah. it's it's, it's it's kind of odd season. I'm like, yeah. And 39 was kind of, you know, it wasn't yeah. that great. So it was, right. it was great, but I, I won't, uh, couldn't be better. That's right. why season 40 killed everything. And, and season mm -hmm. 41, it's, it's a dangerous game, right? <laughs> yeah. Beware. So yeah. So it's drop the four, keep the one. So That's right. forget about every, everyone else. Yeah, it's a season with the monster. What, what, what do you think was the monster Jeff was referring to? That's me. Yeah. You see that when I put <laughs> <laughs> right. So you see that they they just slow motion like the monster came out of me. Like even Dan, he's mentioning Nasir and animal at that point. You know, so yeah. that's, that's what he was talking about. Every time the monster is coming. <laughs> that's good. Exactly. Up to this, up to this interview, Adam and I still no idea what the monster was. So I'm glad you could explain that. 
Yeah. So now you have a clear answer, my friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were we were trying to figure it out. We kept asking. So yeah, you, you were telling me no one ever played Survivor like Nasir, right? I'm <laughs> I'm one of a kind. That's true. Right. Then yeah, everybody else said even my castaways, a fellow castaways who I played, but they want to play like other player, <laughs> this player. But I said I'm gonna play like Nasir. So that's what right. Jeff referring to the monster you're gonna see for you know let's not see it <laughs> yeah well i think i think it, i think part of it is true too like i think you um surprised a lot of people um i don't think anyone thought you'd be bad at challenges but um you really killed it out there you did so great in challenges did, did you do better than you thought you would at challenges i could have done better on my last challenge but my mm. body did not support me that's the whole reason i'm i'm, I'm well see blindside <clears throat> Idol in my pocket. Yeah, it is it is sad. It's okay, mm. but it's a classic blind side. That is the way it should be survival, you know, played. Right? Yeah. That's a great way to play. I'm not really sad about it. Of course I'm sad, you know. But at the same time, you know, well, you know, it is what it is and good way to play. But that the challenge, the last challenge that I participated on, like when I got onto on the challenge, uh like Within three minutes, my right arm, the entire arm got numb. I was holding mm. with one hand for 17 minutes, right? So other hand, mm. just I'm literally, I'm, I just put over that whatever we were holding on. Then Jeff keep telling me, Nasir, move your hand, move your arm. I'm like, I can't feel it. I just <laughs> held as long as I can. Then Jeff yeah. keep just Nasir, do it. I'm like, I can't, I can't feel it. Then I have to give up. Otherwise, he will be like, get out you know so yeah. right after 30 seconds not even 30 seconds erica dropped so that is that i was disappointed in myself on that day on that challenge because my body gave up and then when i came back i had to do therapy for almost like uh, almost two months i did oh wow yeah yeah so uh yeah every every other challenge i i gave my 150 percent i always say so even if you drop a little bit so you stay you, you can maintain your 100 percent and uh, yeah, when even though hungry, you, your starvation or deprivation, whatever it is, when you see those the obstacles called so the challenge, we all I become a monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, With the monster. Absolutely, the challenge where uh, Deshaun and Danny were uh, trying to throw it so they could vote out Erica. Did you realize they were trying to throw it, or were you just too? You were just focused on winning. I real I always focus on winning regardless right. cuz then I noticed Deshaun cuz Deshaun was good in throwing that bag sandbags like couple challenges prior to that challenge right. so he, I'm like something wrong here cuz normally we take turns like I always ask them we have okay we always we had when we do this strategy like okay strategy, strategy yeah strategy then we, we talk about uh, what they call it, strategizing, right? Yeah, we talk yeah. about take like this many turns, this many throws, then we switch around and try to do it as a team because we are playing as a team, right? Then uh, on that one particularly, he's like, I'm asking Dishan, may I come in? May I come in? He's like, no, 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 I will do it. He's keep doing it. I'm like, okay, something wrong here, right? Then, yeah, I, yeah. then I quickly start thinking, yeah, when, I, when I'm pushing the... Uh, uh, blocks danny lost his ring and trying to pretend to like yeah i'm trying to you know i'm like mm. danny go ahead don't worry i'll push it myself you know that's what i did he's literally holding not even pushing okay then then i start quickly thinking about i'm like i was waiting for a moment dishan threw a ring uh many rings then one went uh off the platform then i just jump in then i got in then he has to come out then i just the first two rings i tossed it in like one two done the third, fourth one, I got a little bit. Then they will keep saying, like, come on in, come on in. I'm like, no, I got this. Then I just finished up. Then the following challenge also they want to throw. Mm, yeah. If you have noticed that during uh, or, or by the well, water well that we were talking, Danny came and asked, can we? I'm like, no, I'm not throwing any challenges here. Right. Then uh, yeah. Dishan doesn't know that Dishan was thinking still we want to throw, we are throwing the challenge because I say, yeah, we can do it because it's, we, we end up talking too much about the challenges become unknowing. I'm like, yeah, let's throw the challenge. So then uh, until when we met, even after explained the game, then the challenge, then we, Danny asked me, are we throwing the challenge? And I said, I look at Sydney, Sydney said, no, then because. I'm not going to throw the challenge, no way. Then when I saw that challenge, I know I can win this one by myself again. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so yeah. yeah, winning, losing, I mean, throwing challenges is, uh, for me, it's ugly, my friend. You know? Well, statistically, throwing a challenge has not worked since Ethan Zahn did it in season three. So it's not not a bad move by you. Exactly. And I will never <laughs> throw a challenge in my life. It doesn't matter yeah. what challenge. That's I respect it. Competing. Don't. I'm also surprised uh, Danny was so keen to to throw it because he was, you know, obviously a yeah. professional professional athlete. But I guess he saw. Um, it, it seemed like the the main reason is because he was so nervous about uh, Erica advancing, which I guess at the end ended up being uh, true. So the reason, know. yeah, it, it's true because we're trying to get an uh, like all right, Deshaun, Danny, and Sydney, they had a very good. Uh, uh, like relationship or they have good yeah. alliance of the three right <laughs> so they know that i will be joining them or because the problem was i told the truth at the first day that was my mistake so danny and dishan was looking for an idol so right. it backfired me even though i told the truth i want to gain some loyal uh, loyal so that's the reason i said anyway so uh yeah they tried to throw the challenge danny he mentioned it in one of his confessionals say that that is big sin for me as a professional football player but at that time you're playing a game right so he has to go with the flow if he say no then Deshaun and Sydney will think why he's saying no you know what I mean so that's the reason right. he and want to throw but he they tried it <laughs> Nasir was there <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah yeah when we interviewed Sydney she she was talking about throwing the challenge and she said she almost wished that y'all had lost a few because y'all were just so good. Was, I mean, how was camp life pre-merge? Was it that bad where you just wanted to throw it? I mean, was everybody pissed off, mad at each other? Like what was up with that? No, 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 no. We had great time. Yeah. There are some days, you know, because if you're looking at the same faces for every single day with no food, no, you know, so sometimes you will get some kind of holes and you try to get into something. Then you say something in a different way. It, it the create, it create chaos, but Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had some of, uh, but most of the time we had really good time out there. We we had fun, we had fun, and uh, I understand like yeah, we could have. It's not the way to play survival. I would say throw a challenge and vote someone out because tribal can go live at any time. Then All right, I I rather sit on a winning team, stay one more night safe, and I don't I hate to sit on tribal council. I'm being honest with you because. Because any chance, you don't have a chance unless after the uh, the vote read, then that's the only time you, you feel comfortable, right? <laughs> if your your name is not on there. Anything can mm -hmm. happen. So, yeah. yeah. Right. I wanted to ask, uh, obviously you found uh, the hidden immunity idol, but the way that um, we saw you finding it, I believe it was the only time that... Uh, finding an idol was shown uh, in the in like a flashback as opposed to um in the present moment um where so were you did you just stumble upon it or were you out looking for it like where where did you find it or like did you find it um way earlier or just you know how, what, what was it like finding finding it i found it right before that oh the okay so oh and gotcha. also you know what i sweeped the entire lulu <laughs> island to find yeah. the idol. I remember they, there are days that, so when they go to fish, because I was the main one provider, like uh, in the land, on the land, and also I, I get crabs, right? So Sydney, Danny, they were good going out. They want to try, they were, they caught a couple of fishes, uh, fish, I would say. Then, so they go mm -hmm. out, when they go out, Deshaun joined them and Erica joins them too. So only Heather and I on, on the camp, um, you know what? I talked to had a little bit, then I just escaped and uh, go for a poop for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> like going for an aqua dump or, you know, so then four hours, five hours. So I just check thousands of trees and wherever, whatever holes you see, put your hands, maybe, you know, come out with some crabs or maybe some snakes sometimes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So uh, it's crazy, but. It, it, it is not that easy. Some people, some con contestants are really lucky. They find the idol immediately. Yeah. Unfortunately, my friend, with Survivor, I don't have that luck. <laughs> <laughs> Even to get on Survivor, I tried like, what, six times plus 
hell of interviews. It's brutal, you know. Mm. But then to find an idol, it's even harder than I expected. Right. <laughs> so but I did it, you know. So that's the most important thing, I guess. Do you still have it? No, we are not allowed to bring that idol anymore because I think idol, oh. uh, idols of island or island, islands of idols or whatever we had a season, right? And mm. uh, they kept it. But my daughter, Rhea, she knows how to create a lot of idols. So I'm totally fine. Oh. I have them home. <laughs> ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Future future survivor player right there, right? Well, she said that, Daddy, I will visit you as on a family trip. Like, oh, where you see your loved ones? She said, I will be there for you, Daddy. But uh, the mm-hmm. other one, I tell her to think that she's like, is there any spiders? Yes. But my <laughs> son is, yeah, she's like, no, I'm not coming that way. Then my son is like on the other side. Oh, there are spiders, Daddy? Yeah. Then he can catch it and we'll bring it to you bring it for you so nice. you never know <laughs> do you think um would your wife would she ever consider playing she said if there is a blood versus water similar but mm-hmm. uh i'm sure she will be great at social game and you know when she she said yes or no she said if, if she want me to go definitely she will do it and uh but she, she'll be really good but I don't know. I asked her, do you want to go? She said, if she has to, she will. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. If not, she said, I will watch you. I will watch you uh, there. Then I can watch and sit back and relax and watch you. That's what she said. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, you said you uh, you had applied six times? Yes. Okay. Well, do you yeah. went around what season was uh, the first time you applied? Do you remember? Uh, 2000. 16 okay because okay. so at that time when i'm into applying i'm not yeah i'm watching survival almost every single day but yeah applying so i i cannot apply uh when i'm watching season 21 i never been to america even right so yeah, yeah. then when i moved to us in 2013 i can because i uh, with green card you can you have to be citizen right so right. when i had my old ceremony for become a citizenship to get my citizenship then the following weekend had a open call in in port canaveral florida so immediately i went there and uh yeah that was my beginning couple of open calls in california and florida then uh applications video applications so uh, right you know the consistency is very important if you love something you will you should never give, give up on your dreams you know three minutes of your life or six minutes you know just, just do yeah. it yeah yeah yeah, I mean, once you got casted and you're on the island getting ready, I'm, we've we've asked everybody this and we've heard different things, but was quarantine tough? Yes, definitely it is very tough, mm. you know, so it is not that easy. Everybody thinks that, yeah, this is 26 days, but think about 39 days survivors, like, yeah, there's a challenge, there's a reward challenge and one day rest. But 26 days, there is no rest. Keep going. The pace is, and it's a monster, and that, and this, and twist, and that, and this. And again, you were on quarantine, then again, pre and post. It, it, it's a very difficult game. But, you know, if anybody wants to go play Survivor, I would recommend to prepare mentally, physically, yeah, definitely. Mental is very important. How if mm. you can gain that otherwise yeah. tough. When you heard 26 days, what were your thoughts as an avid Survivor fan? Was it was it like, oh no, like is this is this even real Survivor? Or were you like, that's okay, we're going to get to it? For me, I said it's okay, because no matter yeah. what, we have enough uh, uh, videos, right? Like if it's, a, yeah. if it's 24-7, they're filming. So as long as going to be 13 episodes, that's all mm-hmm. the fans want. But of course, there are some... Uh, 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 talks about oh this is very short it's not fair like 39 days versus 26 days million dollars well you don't have food you don't have rice for 13 days my friends we had to negotiate even I gave up my uh, winning that challenge right me Shan Ricard and Xander right mm-hmm. we negotiated with Jeff to step forward to give up our, our opportunity to get the rice for the entire tribe and the the the, the uh, uh, all those source resources that they gave us nothing except the machete and the flint and the pot right that you have to win if you lose again you're losing your flint 
not a single piece of rope was there to build a shelter everything you had to find resources from the on the island or from the island do it it is a tougher season yeah right yeah yeah by the time like once once like it merged from that point on i i as a fan watching i kept forgetting that it was 26 days i didn't even it didn't even cross my mind the way they edited it it felt like yeah just another season yeah they have enough uh video i mean at times right because Mm -hmm. i heard i had almost three thousand hours or something like that because there are plenty of camera crews that uh try to get all the uh uh things what's going out there so the footage yeah. so they can play survivor 24 hours a day for 29 days or 39 days they have enough so right. imagine put just an hour not even an hour it, it's they have plenty of uh, uh video clips or, or the recording yeah. yeah so right i remember watching um in some of your uh pre-game press you had mentioned that uh some of like your uh, conditions and just what you remember of growing up in Sri Lanka um, you thought would make you more prepared uh, for survivor Island life than uh, most contestants. Um, now that you've played the game, do you still agree with that sentiment or were there some things that were different or were there some things that were uh, definitely similar? Well, it, it is, it, it is definitely similar. Most of it most of mm-hmm. the things that's why you see that i enjoyed it everybody else crying <laughs> hungry and they can't sleep and you know i yeah. build the shelter 89 percent, i would say i built myself for the entire uh, lugo shelter you see how mm-hmm. amazing we turned out that and plus when we merged they brought the luwa and yasa to luvu so i built the shelter really big and better that everybody can sleep right mm-hmm. so on top of that i told my i told uh, in my uh, uh, pre uh, interviews like these elements will be piece of cake. Well, it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. I, I again, you know, I have lived in many, many different countries, and uh, the mm-hmm. way I grew up is kind of still in my blood, right? So no matter where I am, I go maybe one or two days, I may have a little bit of hard time. Then it's all about here. If you know this is where you're gonna stay, this is what you have to do for moving forward for weeks or, or month. As long as you prepare your mental, mentally, then you're good to go. But sometimes, of course, it, it is hard because of the hungry, the deprivations, and you have to see you can't sleep of, because of the backstabbing and lying, and you know. So those are different element of the game, elements of the game. But that that is where we were there. So yeah, yeah. yeah island life, I enjoyed it. <laughs> right. Were there any parts of it that uh, you weren't? I don't want to say weren't prepared for, but did anything like surprise you on the island or, or something that you didn't realize was a part of it? Well, almost everything is kind of secret there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So we the way we watch Survivor is not the way it over. Like, okay, it's easy to watch and judge from your couch. Right? Yeah. All right. Over there, it's everything is real. If mm-hmm. when you're sleeping, if a snake going on around your head, it happens. <laughs> You know, Jeez. so yeah, yeah. So when you wake up first thing first, if you go into the water well or anything, there are plenty of spiders around all over. So you have to clean up. You have to go like that, and it, it's real. You know, so it's everything is real out there. There is nothing like you can start counting stars. Sometime, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. have you ever done that? No, right? So we just lay on the beach and start. I'm like, it, it's, it's amazing. You know, it's beautiful sunrise, sunset. At the same time, it's scary. You can't get out in the night because it's so dark. If there is no moonlight, it's totally dark. You don't know where you're putting your steps. Uh, you know, it, it's it, it's kind of scary too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. once so once once you got the call from Survivor that said you're for sure going to be on the season. Uh, did you, before going off to Fiji, did you do anything to prepare, whether uh, rewatching old seasons or? Um, just exercising, like, did you prepare in any way, physically, mentally? Well, uh, re-watching Survivor, I watch Survivor every day. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it, it's already, it's tried out there. <laughs> Even if I'm eating, sitting on the couch, and first thing first, I put Survivor. It doesn't matter nice. which series and which chair. So it's already in there, right? Then mm-hmm. in terms of exercising, weightlifting, doing some balance trains and everything, uh, mm-hmm. I normally do my, my normal days. I do weightlifting. I'm and running i'm a trail runner uh i did go for swimming a little bit because 
uh, it's been a while, but I was a lifeguard too. So yeah, so that was my first job as lifeguard in my hospitality career. So uh, mm. I'm a good swimmer and uh, I want to do a little more dive. So I went to practice a little bit of a couple of days, I would say, at least a week or two. And everything else, no, I'm, I'm like, what I'm, I'm thinking like, you know, I'm going to enjoy it. Yeah, it's a million dollars. Yeah, I want to win. I can win. But yeah, I have a life after this too, right? Mm-hmm. So I can't focus on only that million dollars. I have to focus because I have family to come back. So I have to come, I have to come back mentally clear. So. Right. Yeah. Seemed like a human cheat code. <laughs> Lifeguard, knew the elements. Yeah. Hey. You were made if you want to do it, you can do it. You know, there is nothing impossible in this life. You know, it's all about how much of an effort you put in, how much of a dedication and consistency you put into something that you really want, right? I heard or I had a phrase somewhere, somewhere, someone said that if you, if it is something important to you, you will find a way. If it is, a, if it is not important to you, you will find an excuse. Love it. Right? Yeah. Love it. Um, mm. What would you say? This is a question I've been asking everyone that we've, um, interviewed from the season, but throughout the entire journey of uh, since the first time you got uh, the call that said you were going to be on, uh, what would you say? Um, this could be before the island, during, or since you've come back. Uh, but what would you say is like the highest high and and the lowest low, like the best moment, and then maybe like the the worst moment of the journey so far? So far for me, uh, I had a best moment uh, finding the idol. Mm. I put a lot of work into it. Yeah, I did win challenges. I'm very happy every single challenge that we won. But finding an idol, it's different level. Yeah. A little bit no clues, right? And that idol was, it's beware idol. So it's dangerous because you're losing your vote. So it, that moment was really special. Uh, the entire, every, okay, let's put it this way. Every single minute of when the journey starts, it's always something new right so you can just take in and have fun or you just surprise and don't complain so i take in as yeah that is so amazing every single thing happened because it didn't happen in my life before those right mm-hmm. so that's a great finding an idol definitely but the other one is when you see jeff Forbes right <laughs> front of you it, it, i get chill you know like it's goosebump comes up so it's yeah. jeff Forbes that you're watching you have watched and learned a lot of words from job like Come on in, guys, and all, all, no, only come on in now. And uh, yeah. <laughs> right, all those words I'm listening and uh, over and over for years and years. Then here we go, Jeff, right there. Yeah, I did interviews with Jeff, but at the same time, live with Jeff Forbes right next to you. You can chat with him, give him fist bump. I like how many people can do that? <laughs> That's mm-hmm. amazing. It's really uh, uh, made me happy to see Jeff almost every day out there. It's it's amazing experience. The bad and low time, I would say, man, missing family. Because my kids are my daughter, seven years old, my son. And that was a month that uh, April 12th, my daughter's birthday. And I wasn't at home. That was the first time. And uh, yeah, mm. so it was it was tough. <clears throat> yeah, family, missing family. But, you know, I'm strong. I can manage that. Yeah. How many kids do you have? I have two. Rhea uh, turned out to be, uh, she's not turned out to be she's turned seven and my uh, my son <laughs> my son three he just turned three okay what's your son's name reed r-e-i-d okay very reed cool thank you and what uh what are they into do they play sports or enjoying school what are they what are it's, they like uh, my daughter she's into a lot of stuff science and math and arts and she did play baseball but now everything kind of stuck right so my son is all about superheroes and cars. And of course, he wants to, it's always karate for him. So let's do, he cannot pronounce karate. He will say kawati. Let's do some kawati, daddy. You know, so he's into karate. And, <laughs> yeah. So cars and he loves cars and super, super, super uh, heroes, you know. Nice. So mm. yeah. Has he got a chance to watch the new uh, Spider-Man movie? Not yet. Okay. Yeah, we we want got, you got to go see it. Yeah, not yet. It's it's not on the TV yet, so we had to go on theater. But it's very hard to take him out for now because of the new variant. You know, it, it's kind of yeah. all over. So little ones, yeah. 
especially with no vaccine yet for him. So it's still kind of waiting. But we yeah. will definitely. Absolutely. Um, Gideon's a big Spider Man fan. I believe you have a, is that a Spider Man oh, yeah. chair. Yeah, yeah, I got Spider Man chair. I see that. <laughs> I got Spider Man on me, you know, so. <laughs> I was the same right. way as a kid. I grew up in the Spider-Man room, so I feel... <laughs> well, we never had those that. opportunities, uh, Gideon, because what? For me, we had coconut trees, we had some <laughs> slingshots, and a couple of flip-flops, maybe one, you know, run around with half-naked, short, no shirt, you know, that kind of life we had. So, lucky you all enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, I had a great life too, right? I, even though I was living in those conditions, I had a great life. So that's why I was able to manage or, or to have a great time out there on the island because it helped me really, right? Right. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I, and I think, you know, at the beginning, Adam was saying that you did bring a new perspective on the Survivor. I mean, that's truth because we haven't really had a lot of people. I mean, at, have we had anyone come from anywhere other than the U.S. or Canada? I don't think so, you know, and it's like... It's like, you know, you did you did grow up like that, and it, it, but yet you had no complaints on the island, and that was just really refreshing. And, you know, and I think that's why so many people did appreciate you and want to see you come back. I hope so, one day. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Wanted to, I wanted to ask um, with, like, uh, um, specifically with the, the final tribal council, obviously you were a jury member. Um, Coming into Final Tribal, um, and if you wanted to keep this personal, no worries, but uh, coming into Final Tribal, uh, you specifically, how like open would you say your vote was? Like, Did you know for sure who you were going to vote for, or was it totally open, or like maybe somewhere totally in the middle? Open. Totally okay. open. I told them, just convince me, tell me how and why you played the game, and why. Uh, yeah, because again, it is like voting every single night, on every single other night, right? The final tribal council it doesn't matter one small thing can change entire your chance of winning so it's all about mm -hmm. how you deliver how you pledge your case right so uh, well again we are seeing out there based on because we don't see the challenges they participate in we, we can see only when they come back when we are sitting on juror as a jury then we're sitting there who's when we see someone wearing their necklace then we mm -hmm. yeah that person played good today right makes sense right He's a right so we don't know what other things happen in the island until we watch. So we are kind of, they have to explain what happened and they have to really build a case and tell us. So, yeah, I was yeah. totally, I told them. So, yeah. And so, uh, also, oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Gideon. I, I wanted to, I wanted to uh, hear your perspective on the final four decision out of Xander to not let Erica go to fire. I mean, to uh, to us, we were all shocked that happened. And then the edit made y'all look shocked. Were you shocked? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, it 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 happens. You know, it's again as I said, it's not only as jurors. Jur jur like, imagine we are having uh, when you're on the jury, but at least you have food and drink and you can have fun you can have a good night's sleep like a xander erica dishon and heather and ricard who have played like final four final five uh, mm -hmm. they don't have food and they always thinking i don't think they had a good night's sleep and any decision comes out over there it's not like you know yeah xander for that moment he thought that would be a great move does that make sense so yeah. I, I wouldn't blame for that. He was thinking I could have done the same. Mis it, it's not a mistake. It's all about that is how he played his game. Right. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So it, 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 it's kind of tough. It's easy to judge from sitting on the couch and, you know, having a popcorn or beer or whatever. But it's not, it's not <laughs> that the case when you are there, my friends. It doesn't matter. You are in the jury or you are playing the game. It's still you are playing the game. You are in the game. Right. Yeah. And obviously there was a lot of um, uh, people from your original tribe that were on uh, the jury because no one was uh, voted out pre-merge unless you consider Sydney being pre-merge. She was kind of like half merge boot. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So obviously a lot, there was a lot of people from your original tribe. Um, 
where it was clear that um, Sydney was seen as a big threat, as a big player, whereas uh, Xander only got to play uh, like what a week with her. So he maybe didn't realize just how respected her game was and how big people saw her um, as a threat. Um, and then obviously you yourself uh, voted for her in the end. Uh, do you remember like, was there a moment at final tribal council where you like, you knew it was going to be her or voted um, for Erica, not Sydney for, for, Erica. for Erica. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I know I'm gonna go vote for Sydney. Yeah, I know that I'm I'm switching the votes. I switched the vote to get Sydney out, by the way. Hmm. Um, yeah, in that vote. Yeah, I did. Okay. I was supposed to vote for Abby, but Abby is my buddy, so Sydney's out. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. But again, yeah, she she's a good player. Uh, she had her own way of playing the game, but it's all about who stays one more days, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's a game, and uh, yeah, Erica. After that, when they say about uh, why why they should be winning this million dollars. And um, of course, it's not just like, yeah, you talk and Gaiden talk and Nasir talks and you vote for someone not like that. So you really have to uh, pledge your case and try to convince the jury. So, yeah. Great. Yeah. Um, well, before we let you go, we have to let you play this game that we play with all of our uh, season 41 interviewees called... Um, at least the ones that have an Instagram account, it's called explain that gram. So we're going to show explain you, that uh, gram. <laughs> okay. we're going to, we're going to show you three pictures from your Instagram and uh -huh. explain, uh, explain like the story behind the picture, like when it was taken, uh, what all you can tell us about it. So okay, let's do this. <laughs> uh, let me pull up the first one here. I love this part. <laughs> all right. First one. Oh, <laughs> so we went to the pumpkin patch. So I was uh, making a, v a YouTube, well, YouTube uh, a video. I want to post something <laughs> to show because we grew up with vegetables and all kind of stuff. So, so I want to post uh, to show to Sri Lankan friends yes. how yes. this pumpkin patches uh, can be done because there are plenty of opportunities that they can do this stuff in Sri Lanka, right, to make money. But here in America, during the pumpkin season, you know how to make money. So, you know, so, right. uh, but we always enjoy this season. Pumpkin lattes, corn in the carb, and, you know, pumpkin curries. Uh, matter of fact, have you ever tried pumpkin curries? I love pumpkin curries. I haven't. Yeah, I have man. not. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe my YouTube channel. So then I started posting videos. Matter of fact, a couple of days ago, I post how to cook Dungeness crab curry. We'll so, put a link to that in our description where people can find your YouTube. Yes, uh, please. It would be highly appreciated. And I just started. So that is my plan. I want to do, I'm, I'm doing a cooking, cooking YouTube channel. So for that particular one, that was the biggest pumpkin. So someone else bought that and he's rolling that wheelbarrow. I'm like, can I take a picture? <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> but like, where was that? Was that California? It's California in, in our hometown here, Morgan Hill. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, Hera, since you mentioned uh, cooking, that was kind of the next one. Do you remember what dish uh, you're making here? K K oh, yeah. Kotu. Kotu. That is a special dish. Uh, it's a street food on Sri Lanka. It's a famous one. It means with chicken, uh, pita bread, or not bread, but parota bread, and a lot of ingredients like cilantro, onion, mustard seeds, uh, curry powder, turmeric, ginger, onion, garlic, and you mentioned it, that a lot of things all together. Basically, you cook the curry, chicken curry or beef curry, whatever it is. Then you prepare a different dish with the bread and everything that you mix it. Then you do it. That, that's one of the famous uh, uh, food in Sri Lanka. Of course, in my household as well. The entire family enjoys it. Matter of fact, I'm planning to cook that today. <laughs> okay. Nice. It's called kotu. Yeah. When are you making your own restaurant? Well, it's too much work, my friend. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> if you are making a restaurant, you have to be. I'd rather do some cooking shows around so I can show them how to cook and move on, right? right. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and I, I love cooking. I enjoy cooking. Not everybody uh, can cook good, I would say, because that's a different art, you know? It's something you love, right? You know how I enjoy you when you're cooking, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's all about here and here. It's not all about always the recipes. About recipes are important, but at the same time. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, okay, last one I wanted to show you was um, I love bringing up uh, any, I love finding when um, 
contestants love sports because I'm a huge uh, sports guy myself. When we interviewed Sydney, we found out that she was a uh, ping pong, a table tennis uh former former player in I think high school and a little bit in a little bit in college, college too. But yeah. um I saw this on your Instagram of you golfing and very humble of you to show uh most people would only show them uh making a putt, but uh you came <laughs> just just a little short there. Um was this a one time thing or do you enjoy golfing? I enjoyed golfing, especially with my father in law Dave. Uh you know uh, we're trying to get uh to be on amazing ways. If I do amazing ways, I will be doing with my, I call dad, my father-in-law. So we go enjoy golf. So it's been a while since uh, the, um, uh, the the COVID hit. Well, almost every other weekend we went, uh, I enjoyed it. But if you want to see the worst golf player, you can see right here. <laughs> so, so, well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good player. But as you said, it's not always about good things. Show them always about your failure. You learn something from it, right? Right. That good yeah. That. So yeah, I, I don't mind showing that I'm failing something, right? Yeah. But you liked yeah. it. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm a I'm a golfer as well. I definitely don't uh, claim to be a pro by any means. I, I have a lot to learn. I've been doing it for three years now, and I feel like I've only gotten this much better. Um, I'll get a good putt and think that I've cracked the code, and then I'll go up for my next putt and be two steps back. So. <laughs> definitely uh definitely a game where you're constantly constantly have to it, evolve to hang in there. it's not an easy game like i'm good in when i'm driving i'm like it's good uh distance wise because i'm a cricket player so it's all about hitting harder so right boom, you know so it's, it's good but uh a lot to learn as i said you want to see the worst golf player on the earth right. is me <laughs> yeah well, it's, it's an interesting game because unlike football or baseball, where like once the ball is in the play, you have to make decisions, but they're very in the moment. You have like a split second to make a decision that could either let the other team get a touchdown or it's 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 a very small time to make a decision. Whereas in golf, you know, you have a bunch of time to, you know, choose which club you want, how hard you want to hit. You have plenty of time to decide on your decisions. And yet um, it's still... It's still very tough because there's so many uh, decisions that have to go into your next hit. Um, and if one of those decisions is the wrong one, your exactly. ball could end up uh, in a lake. <laughs> yep, a lake. Absolutely. I remember all those Florida golf courses. There's a lot of water around, so you lose balls a lot. But here in California, uh, we don't have issue with that. Sometimes a deer or maybe a turkey jump around and, you know, <laughs> we turkey. make <laughs> yeah, turkey. So wow. it's pretty good here. Golf courses are good, but it, it's it's good. I like to play golf, but it's been a while since I started. Before since, since I came back from Survivor, I haven't. Hmm. Yeah, Very I feel cool. like I'd rather spend that time with my kids for now because I feel like still I miss a lot of time being with them while I was on the show. So mm -hmm. I can be working every night. That's why I'm like, oh, no. So, but you have been in touch with me from the beginning. I'm like, you know what? Even though it is a weekend, I have to give my time to Adam and his. Uh, ah. so, uh, yeah, absolutely. Because I don't want to take this call on the car on the way from 101, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> absolutely. We well, definitely appreciate it. And um, if you're ever in New York City, bring your golf clubs with you. And I love to uh, play with you. Me and Gideon would both love to play with you sometime i don't know if gideon if you've ever golfed before but uh no okay that's what hey i've i've had people that have played and are already for like the first second third time and are already better than me sometimes people just have that natural i i would swing. look like happy gilmore out there man i would not look good but <laughs> no. it's it's whatever it's tough it's tough um well we uh whenever we wrap up the interviews we always have uh our, our 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 same last question that we love to ask everyone um getting do you want to do the honor or? you got it you got it you got it if, i know you said um you know we talked about playing again and and gideon said um the absolute truth that um we me and gideon would personally love to see you play again um i know a lot of people would i see i'm on a bunch of survivor reddit survivor facebook's and there's polls and you're always like towards the top of players if not at the very top 
Yeah. If you got the call to play again, uh, what would your answer be? If I receive a call, yes, absolutely, <laughs> I will play again. Awesome. Oh, good, good, yeah, good, awesome. good. Great. Well, that's that's music to our ears. Uh, we definitely enjoyed watching you during the season. Um, we were, you were someone we were rooting for from the get go, um, especially myself because you were on my fantasy team. Um, but, uh, <laughs> it was you. interesting. It, it was interesting because uh, we would always like, uh, like not seriously, but in a joking way, we would always talk smack about people on the other person's team. So I was like, get, uh, Deshaun was on Gideon's team. So I would always be like, boo, Deshaun. And like Ricard was on my team. So Gideon would go, boo, Ricard. But uh, you were, you were the, like maybe the one player where uh, I think, even though you were on nah, my team. We I refuse to talk crap about you, Nasir. I would never, <laughs> I would never. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Thank you. But uh, but uh, so great watching you play. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, we definitely enjoyed talking to you, learning a little bit uh, about your game, about your life before the game, and um, after the game too. So yeah, thanks so much for coming on. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Adam. Thank you so much for your time and effort uh, for trying to get and to organize this. Uh, and Gideon, thank you so much uh, for joining us. And thank you so much for calling me first so we can put Adam out, you know, wearing the same sweater or jersey. <laughs> That's right. right. That's right. The same tribe, even though he <laughs> told me before now, <laughs> we, are, we are in the same tribe here. So That's right. thank you, again. You both, you have a great day and uh, happy new year too, even if it is a little late now, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, but, yeah, um, if you guys if you guys want to check out Nasir's YouTube uh, channel, go subscribe to that. It's in our bio. You guys can go check that out, watch his videos, learn something about cooking. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching so much. We're happy as a goat on AstroTurf that you were here. Thank you guys. <laughs>